Hello there guys, it's me, Golden G Oh, I'm sorry for starting off like that. I am... Too late video, sorry. Today we're doing a ship that I thought... You know, it's weird that this was never properly commissioned by the Empire. Or the New Republic, you know, it's like... Why would they have a ship some of this? I could be wrong. There could be some comic out there and... No one fucking super... F I love Star Wars, like, it's my favorite franchise, but... I want fucking... Push up the glasses, know it all nerd. It's fine to be a nerd. I'm a nerd myself. But when you're a know it all nerd, the X, like, it, like, oh, well, actually, you know, issue 124, uh, that was proven incorrect. Don't. Stop it. Rethink your life. <laughs> you can prove me wrong. That's fine. Prove me wrong. Don't be a bitch about it. Like, I do. That's not entirely correct, actually. And actually, uh,. It was, it was in canon or legends. It may be in legends, but I'm thinking of current canon. And in current canon, there's not such ship. Hmm, interesting. <sighs> Alright, so, let's start off. Anyway, <laughs> let's go with this ship's weaponry, then I'll get to its purpose. And I'll explain why I think it's weird that I never had one. For I, it has four turbo lasers. Two top, two bottom. Twenty-four! Point defense weapons, 12 top, 12 bottom. And what I mean by top, I mean like this top, very top layer. Six. Uh, that's right, you had me. Six ion cannons. Three on top, three on bottom. And you're like, well, what about sides? Sides are completely undefended. Well, you know, that's where we get into purpose. The whole purpose of the ship is to pick up war debris. You know, that's why there's cranes and welding thing blow torches and all that like inside that come out yeah um best ship I can give example to is the <sighs> that one you know like our two law sets uh arc and clone wars you know uh, amazing show uh, another arc and he like part of his thing goes by and picks up and throws on the side well this one's more mainstream for the empire because the Empire commissioned it and so to clean up uh, Separatists and Republic battles, Separatist holdouts, like go up and pick up the debris. The uh, Battles of the Civil War, it helped. It helps hide stuff like the Empire lost uh, battle and it's like, ah, right, we can't let anyone know we lost that battle. So it's in one of these out, one of these boils out, it'd get all that and it'd look good. And it'd repurpose the materials. And the weapon is to save the ship from a incoming debris. The sides do open. Um, you see where it oh, sorry about the drink. I'm thirsty. It's hot. Uh, you see where it extends out? That's to carry bigger debris. Obviously, this isn't to scale. For example, the ship is actually 2,000 meters in length. Same as my carrier. And it's designed that way so it could hold in. I can't give a width. I'm not going to give a width. Uh, but like I said, this isn't to scale. This part would be the biggest part of the ship, tallest in length, and it would pick up bigger debris, for example, up here in this front section. It may pick up like a vulture droid, hyena bomber, back here, maybe like a tri droid. You know, same thing. That's just freaking weird. The sun just. I see you! Now I'm just imagining like big old coogly eyes on it. <laughs> anyway. Nick, I, I mean, I'm not gonna ask you to edit this video, but you know, like, you sh totally should just come back and pull this out and put big old googly eyes on it, just for the hell of it. Like, come on now, buddy. Oh, by the way, Nick's my editor. Uh, Nadja Dino Radical subscribe to him. He did edit the part two, and that's up, so go watch that. Um, Minecraft's a bitch, so I didn't get that ship out to you guys. Um, yeah. And this big part would like uh the satellite off the centerpiece of a droid Luke Hawk ship could fit in here. Like, you know, pieces like that. So a bigger piece would go in the center section. Uh you know, they ain't they much in here. It's just cool design. I actually really like the hallways and that. Well not really hallways, but I just like the how it goes in. But yeah. I'm thin, by the way. Like that's my current skin. Last time I was here, I was a transformer. No, <laughs> I was a Power Ranger. Um, 
Sh crap, I might. Yeah? So, you know, that's the scope of the story. So, um, yeah, that's actually all that has to do with this ship. Uh, top speed, I didn't think of one, but it's a pretty slow ship, so I'd say it tops out like 500 uh, kilometers per hour. Is it per hour? Like, I could Google it. But I want the Canadians to understand the Americans. Be like, guys, guys, chill out, chill out, chill. Here, let me tell you. It's basically miles per hour, just shorter distance. Is it shorter or is it greater? Isn't it like a kilometer, like 0.62 miles, or I don't know, America. <laughs> um. Anyway, so in a, in Star Wars, for us metric system, and me being American, have them. No, why is Star Wars metric? Like I'm supposed to be done this video and still rambling on, but why is Star Wars metric? You feel should would it be imperial imperialist because uh, George Lucas, an American thing, American person, and then American movie. German voice from, uh, German Vader from th some Thrawn's Revenge mod. <laughs> Go, attack now. Um, maybe that's why. The, the German, the, the Nazi Germany and Imperial likes are too similar not to use metric. I love Star Wars. <laughs> but I think you guys are coming out watching, uh, I'll probably do that one next. Because it'd be the fourth episode, which doesn't seem much, but it would be technically a new hope the way I've been doing these titles. <gasps> no. You get to be Clone Wars. You. You get to be episode three. I'm not doing that shit for episode three. What? What? Actually, I don't know what shit I'm going to do for episode three. But it's not going to be that one. Trust me. So this is going to fill in, like, the Clone Wars animated film. Cause I did. Yeah. So Clone Wars animated film. This one's going to cover it. Maybe you can do Rogue One. I don't know, cause you look more like a solo. I'll figure that out. Thank you guys for coming out and watching. See you guys in the next video. Once I eventually figure out how to end this film. Shit. Alright. Bye guys.